Hey everyone, in the second order divided difference interpolation example video, we're going to be walking through how to solve a second order Newton divided difference example. This question is asking us to find the output of the following discrete data set for an input of x equals 4. If you missed our previous video on the theory and intuition behind the divided difference method, I recommend that you check out that video first. I will leave a link in the description down below for anyone interested. Our first thing to do when solving this problem is determine what order Newton interpolating polynomial we will be solving. As we learned before, interpolating polynomials must always pass through every data point supplied to them. Therefore, our Newton polynomial will always be an order of n minus 1, where n is our number of data points. Therefore, in this problem, since we are supplied three data points, we are being asked to solve for a second order divided difference. And to find this, we use a second order Newton polynomial. A second order Newton's polynomial has the following general equation. As you can see here, we are only missing these coefficients. These are called our divided differences, hence the name of the algorithm. But how do we find these coefficients for our Newton polynomial? Well, that is the magic of this method. We can simply use our divided difference tables. To set up a divided difference table of the second order, we will create a table with the column headers x, y, and then I'll just call them first order and second order. Then let's just translate our discrete data supplied to us in the table under the columns x and y. Just for clarity, I will also add the variable nomenclature here as well. Now our first order divided difference is simply the slope between our first two data points. Therefore, we simply have our differences in our y values, y1 minus y0, divided by the differences of our x values, x1 minus x0. As you can see, this works out to 2, and this is our first order, f0, 1, divided difference. Much like we did for f0, 1, divided difference, we're going to find the slope between points 2 and 1, and this works out to minus 0.25. And this is our first order divided difference, f, 1, 2. Now, we are ready to move on to our second order column. This second order divided difference will be f0, 1, 2. To find this divided difference, we are essentially taking a difference of our first order divided difference over the total x range. You can follow our errors backwards and see that we arrive at x0 and x2 like so. Therefore, after completing the math here, we have minus 0.375. As you can see, we now have our three necessary coefficients. Remember, we learned in the theory video that f0 is simply y0. Just as a quick note, when completing even higher order divided difference problems, your coefficients will always be the highest divided difference within a given order column. To solve for our interpolating polynomial, we are going to input our coefficients and simplify. So I'm just going to go ahead and complete that now. You can see that we get Newton's interpolating polynomial of minus 0.375x squared plus 3.5x minus 1.125. This is the formula for the continuous polynomial function that fits our discrete data set. We can validate this function at our known data inputs as this function will return our outputs if it is correct. So I will just go ahead and complete that for you now. As you can see, our polynomial interpolating function is correct, as it passes through all three of our nodes, or our data points. Lastly, we are asked to use this interpolating function and solve for an input of 4. Doing so, we are returned 6.875, and that is the answer to this problem. I hope that this video helped your understanding of how to solve a second order Newton divided difference problem. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.